you guys. All right. Thank you. L.A. City Councilman Tom LaBonge is speaking out this morning about a plan to restrict mobile food vendors. KTLA's Marie Mortera is in Baldwin Village with more on the controversy. Good morning. Hey, good morning to you, Megan. You know, this is quite a food fight. I mean, take a look at this food truck behind me. This is creping around. You look at the pictures out there and you go, really? Who would have an issue with crepes that look like that, right? Well, Councilman Tom LaBonge does. Uh, he has proposed not so much against the food itself, but proposed the fact that these food trucks, they tend to be in places allegedly for much longer than they should. One of the areas that he points out is along the Miracle Mile along uh, Wilshire, and, and as many as six trucks at one time parking in front of other restaurants for several hours out of the day. Listen to this soundbite. Uh, we just talked to him. Soundbite, huh? since we're talking about food. We talked to him a couple of minutes ago. Listen to what he had to say. I think the issue is uh, 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 there's a great love for this growing phenomenon, but there's also a great love for parking in Los Angeles, and these parking meter spaces in some locations are taken up. Here's six, seven trucks all in one block. Uh, that has an impact on that street. They're oversized vehicles, their height, uh, there's issues that have to take place. I have others. And now I'm here with Matt Geller. I got to look at his card here because it's a pretty long title. The Southern California Mobile Food Vendors Association. You guys have been around for six months already dealing with your first political issue. What do you think about this? Um, well, you, you know, it's not our first political issue. We deal with things with, um, you know, public health all the time, but it's, it's our biggest issue. And I think one of the issues or one of the big things with this is he's got an issue on Wilshire and in an effort to uh, deal with that, he's going to make parking meters uh, illegal in for food trucks in all commercially zoned areas throughout Los Angeles. So he's using kind of a chainsaw instead of a scalpel. So it's issue with Wilshire, let's just blanket the whole city. And that's way too tough to ask. For businesses like this one, by the way, Crepe and Around, which has been around for three months. Yeah, I mean, wh where would he want them to park? So there's, there's uh, in commercially zoned areas, there's a lot of uh, parking meters. Would he rather they were in residential areas that abut up against commercial areas? Uh, it's, it doesn't make a lot of sense, and this motion is really to try and find an equitable solution for everybody. And since, but in the, in the motion, it also says he wants recommendations to make parking meters, uh, prohibit parking meter parking for uh, food trucks. So if you want an equitable solution, I think the best thing is to start off, you know, clean slate. Let's get this facts first. All right, Matt, I want to walk over here and talk to Jamie, the guy behind Crape and Around. And ja Jamie, one of the things that Councilman brings up, well, perhaps we should have a food vendor zone, kind of like a commercial uh, uh, loading zone for other vehicles. What do you think about that? That could work, definitely, if we are close enough to the businesses so that it is easy for um, our customers to get to us. I mean, ultimately, you are here to make money. Some people have also said, look, we have restaurants across the street. Guy with a food truck shows up, and he hurts us. Well, we hear a lot of comments through our, uh, through our telephones. So a lot of people mention that uh, serve better food. If you have a restaurant, if they have better food, they get more customers. Some of the new restaurants that came in that area are doing great because they serve a better product. It all really comes down to competition, right? And by the way, Tom Labonge did have one of these crepes. We'll tell you how what he uh, thought about food from a food truck coming up at the 9 o'clock hour. But for now, that's the story from here. Send it back to you guys there in the studio. All right, Marie.